Hi, my name is Yair Fusailov, and I'm a marriage and family therapist. I also study psychoanalysis in Adelphi University. Um, today I want to discuss with you, and in general, I want to make a few videos discussing a issue that I see a lot and I have observed about with myself. After trying to work on myself on different character traits and just the way I act and think and feel, there was a realization. The realization basically was, how come nothing changes, you know? Meaning the way I feel inside, the way I feel secure, insecure, confident, um, anything wanting to to improve my relationships, get more friends, do anything, you know, religious things, not religious things, anything. How come, like, we don't really change inside? We could read books, we could think about wanting to change and even go and do that gym membership and different things like that. But yet, sometimes we catch ourselves for, like, years on end. Just looking to do the same goal with no change, you know. So it made me realize when I was sitting in uh, in my school once in rabbinical seminary. It made me realize, like, hey, how come I'm here for so many years and, uh, you know, I listen to all these different things and, and I learn all these different things and I try and I want to change and I try to change. How come things are just not changing? How come I'm not changing inside? How come I'm inspired or I have this desire but I'm just not changing? Like what's what's the reason for that? And I feel like that was a huge highlight in my life. Probably the first huge, huge highlight that motivated me to change a lot in a real way and I think that's the, actually the first step to realize that wow how come I am not changing how come nothing is changing like what in the world I don't want to be the same person when I'm 40 as when I'm 25 30 and if you look around you like how many people are basically the same people I mean it's hard to measure other people but like just take yourself or take you know a brother or sister or a friend that you know very closely like how many of them are stuck on the same uh, ideas and the same goals and, and aspirations as they have been for a number of years you know even some people even a decade even decades so I think that the first step to real growth and to real change is to realizing like, wow, I'm not changing. I am not changing. Something is wrong with the way I have been approaching it. So I think that's step one. That is step one. Just realizing that everything that you've been doing until now is just like not necessarily effective because a lot of our want to change is coming from a desire to change, but it's not coming with any understanding of ourselves. We're more just trying to kind of pound a certain idea or a certain goal in ourselves. Uh, like, I need to lose weight. Like, you don't understand, you just understand why you need to, but you don't understand why it's so hard for you. You don't understand what's holding you back. Uh, you know, in, in Yeshiva, it was a big thing of, uh, you know, in rabbinical seminary, I mean, working on anger, let's say. It's like just realizing that anger is not good for you, anger is so bad, and God doesn't like when a person's angry. And anger could ruin your life. It's like, but we all know that already. You know, how many times are you going to say that to yourself? There's something, there's some kind of hidden missing link inside ourselves that doesn't let us work past that. 
so that realization just something to think about and then just step number two is to kind of take take a goal that you have and actually think about it let it just float in your mind for once you don't have to actively do anything to get closer to your goal let's take a different approach this approach will be for now in this first step in the second step I mean it will be just to let your mind wander let's say a guy has a situation where he feels that it's a very hard for him to go introduce himself. He's constantly at parties or things, and he feels lonely. And he feels he feels weird, uncomfortable because he doesn't know anyone, or he just feels too weird to speak to them, or whatever it is. So this man just contemplates, and this has been going on for years, let's say. And this man just contemplates a little bit. Hey, why do I feel so like uncomfortable to go up to them? Like, like what's wrong with me going up and just introducing myself you know so just simply thinking that just sit back and relax and let your mind just wander close your eyes take your coffee or whatever it is right here and just let your mind wander and maybe you'll come up with something like this man he may come up with I just feel awkward. It's awkward. It may be very simple, like you may never feel that feeling before. You may just now go up, he's uncomfortable, but there's a new insight called I feel awkward. I have like an inner there's an irk inside me to go up. I feel worried or sick when I go up. To someone and just to realize that and in the next video we'll address what to do with this insight so step number one of the video is to just realize that change hasn't been happening the old conventional way of just hey like muster the energy up or just realize that what you got to do is different uh you know for your health you got to lose weight let's go you know I'm not saying that behavioral techniques never have a place. They do many times. But I think that there needs prior contemplation before using behavioral techniques. And step number two is to just pick something that you've been wanting to achieve. And just sit on it for a second. Like, hey, like, I want to go and, and uh, you know, become friends with people. And I want to go introduce myself. Like. But what's stopping me from it? Just like let your mind wander and uh, tell you what's bothering it. And whatever insight you get, it could be very small. It could take you only a few seconds to do this exercise. Let's say you come up with the word awkward, right? That you feel awkward and you feel like there's some kind of like anxiety behind it or some kind of a worry behind it or fear. Then we could talk about how to address that in our next video. Thank you. We'll catch up later.